Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC using AngularJS how to enable and disable drop down list, which is a select option element with checkbox control. And here we got the output. Notice the drop down control is disabled. When I select the checkbox control, so it's enabled now. If I unselect, it's disabled. If I select, it's enabled. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have showed how to insert the selected drop down value into SQL Server database using AngularJS. If you missed my previous video, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that video link. Now in this video, I will show you how to enable and disable the drop down element using AngularJS. Let's start the coding part. And this is the code we have just seen in the output to insert the selected drop down value. Now here in the index.cshtml, insert this do tag, I am adding a simple HTML checkbox control open toolbox. I am adding the checkbox control. I am adding a label select the checkbox to enable drop down list now in this checkbox element i'm adding ng iphone model is an angular director i'm adding hide show and one more important thing if you are adding angular js directors you must add the AngularJS reference to your project. Otherwise, the AngularJS application does not work. After adding ng model directory to the checkbox control, now I'm adding the select option element, which is a drop down control ng iPhone disabled. In this directory, I'm adding the ng model height show from the checkbox control. After that, I'm adding not symbol when page loads the select option the drop down control will be disabled let's check the output i'm reloading the browser link and here we got the output notice the drop down control is disabled when i select the checkbox control so it's enabled now if i unselect it's disabled if i select it's enabled that's it.